Within Apple Business Manager, you're able to do multiple things such as check the enrollment status of your devices. You can unassign and assign devices to your different MDM platforms, as well as release those devices. You can also push out applications as well from this portal. What I'm gonna show you in this video is how you can assign and unassign the device. What you do here is once you're logged in, you go to devices, and you can see the different devices that you have within your ABM or Apple Business Manager portal. You have a few different devices or a few different options that you can do with these devices. You can also specifically look for the devices by typing in the IMEI or the serial number up here at the top. Once you have the device that you would like to use, you click on the device and you can do one of two things. You can edit device management. So you would use this, for example, if maybe you have the company owner that does not want their device on your MDM platform, before they turn on that device, you would go in here and you could unassign that device from the, the portal itself. So whenever it turns on, it's not pointing that way. If you have multiple MDM platforms that you use, you can also assign it to the different MDM platforms. Once you assign it or unassign it, you would just hit continue and you'll see a little green box that pops up and says that it's complete. The other thing that you're able to do within this portal is you're able to release the device. Now releasing a device removes it completely from Apple Business Manager. To be able to get it back in Apple Business Manager, you ha would have to resubmit that IMEI to the Verizon offline team for them to add it back in. The only time you would really be using the release the device button is if you are reselling that phone or you're returning it to Verizon or you're going to completely remove it from your company. Any other time you'd wanna just unassign that device so if you ever need to put it back in the portal, you can without going through the five to seven day wait period for them to add that device back in. Now keep in mind when you release the device, you need to make sure that you release the device first and then go through the Apple Business Portal and do a factory data reset. This will allow it to, whenever it restarts, for the device to come back on and it not be pointing to the Apple Business Manager.